Hello, my name is Stan Prokopenko. Welcome to another episode of Proko. In the last video, we learned about the anatomical structure of the pecs. Now let's take a look at how you can apply all this information to construct the forms of the pecs in your drawings. The pecs make a flat front plane that faces slightly upwards. The bottom plane starts at or just below the nipple. The depth of this bottom plane determines how thick the muscle is. All right, let's do a drawing of the pecs. I'll start with a light lay-in of the skeleton to help me place the muscles on top. Let's start with the clavicular portion. It originates from the clavicle and stretches the farthest of the three portions until it's covered by the deltoid. Then the sternal portion. From the entire length of the sternum, it converges toward the armpit and dips under the clavicular portion. The lateral border curves up toward the arm. There might even be a double curve when the arm is abducted away from the body because of how the sternal and abdominal sections overlap and attach to the tendon, as you can see here. When the arm raises, the muscle mass keeps its thickness near the armpit where it attaches to the tendon. More of the stretching happens here, closer to the sternum. The tendon from the sternal section can extend an inch or two from the armpit. And when a muscular figure flexes, it often creates a dimple as the muscle fibers take a sharp turn inward. The lower border of the pecs lines up with the bottom of the sternum. According to Loomis, the nipples are roughly one head measurement down from the chin. So the bottom of the pecs are just below that. It's straight and horizontal, maybe leaning a bit down laterally. When drawing a torso that's tilted toward you or away from you, this lower border acts as a natural cross contour line. Use it to show the round form of the rib cage. In male figures, there's a crescent shaped fat pad on the lower outer corner that contributes to its boxiness. Man boobs are simply a result of that crescent shaped fat pad gaining more and more mass and running over into the rib cage. When the arm is raised, the lower mass of the pec thins, and the lower border becomes harder to distinguish. You might see ribs you couldn't see before. Variations. There are variations to the chest depending on the physique of the person, such as lean, average, muscular, and heavy. To learn more about these variations, head on over to proco.com anatomy. The premium section has longer lessons, 3D models, and additional demonstrations. Just saying. It's proco.com slash anatomy. Thanks for watching, everybody. Do the chest bump worthy thing and share this video with your friends. Give me a thumbs up and comment below. And if you're looking for the Proco news, look no further than the Proco newsletter at proco.com slash subscribe. <laughs> See you next time.